This video is on normal distribution. In today's video, I am going to explain a problem. See here, suppose 10% of the probability for the normal distribution is below 35. So it's below 35. 10% of the probability for a normal distribution is below 35 and 5% above 90. What are the values of mu and sigma? See here, it's very simple. The question is also very simple. If the percentage is given, it should be known that the probability is given and we have to find some variables. So here the variables are mu and sigma. Mu is mean and sigma is the standard deviation. So given that 10% of the probability for a normal distribution is below 35. Below 35 means the area left to the ordinate, left side of the ordinate. And above 90 means it is towards the right side of the ordinate. So this is the thing which you have to keep in mind while drawing the normal curve. And next we have to find out the values of mu and sigma. Mu means mean and sigma is the standard deviation. See here in the solution what is given. So we have to consider that mu is the mean and sigma is the standard deviation. And next what is given? 10% of the probability is below 35 and 5% of the probability is above 90. So it's very simple see here. So if it's below 35 means that is the probability of x less than 35. 35 is 10 percent and the probability of x greater than above 90 is 5 percent. So this is the simple data given and next I am going to draw this one normal curve. So this is so important see here. As you all know that this is the normal curve. So it tends to plus infinity towards the right of the ordinate and minus infinity towards the left of the ordinate. So in between as you know it is x is equal to mu mean value. So here from the data what is given x less than 35 is 10 percent. Less than 35 is towards the left side left side so this is 35 x is equal to 35 which is 10 percent so 10 percent means 10 by 100 which is equal to 0 0.1 and next one x greater than 90 greater than means it's a positive value and it is towards the right side of the curve this value is 5 percent that is 5 by 100 that is 0 0.05 and see here Half of the curve is 0 0.5. As you all know that half of the curve is 0 0.5 and the remaining is half. So 0 0.5 minus 0 0.1. The value here will be 0 0.4. And next here 0 0.5 minus 0 0.05. The value here is 0 0.45. So this is the value according to the figure. And now see here. So when we compare with z so this is z is equal to 0 so this value is equal to 0 and this value is equal to z is equal to z1 and see here this value is z is equal to z2 and this is so above 90 is 5 percent so this is x is equal to 90 so clear so this is the normal curve so this is nothing but the normal curve as you all can see very it's very clear that from the figure we can easily calculate that the middle value is 0 0.4 and 0 0.45 and the next thing here is see here so above 90 so this is the value which is above 90 so above 90 is 5 percent and below 35 is 10 uh, percent so from the figure so you have to draw like this and this is also very clear this is z is equal to 0 z is equal to z1 and z is equal to z3 this is x is equal to mu curve and this is the given that is x less than 35 is 10 percent and x greater than 90 is 5 percent and we have to consider that half of the bell curve is 0 0.5 and half of the curve is 0 0.5 and after subtracting 0 0.1 from 0 0.5 which is 0 0.4 and here also after subtracting 0 0.05 from 0 0.5 is 0 0.45 so this is very very clear diagram and next we are going to calculate what is the mean value and what is the standard deviation value see here as you know that when x is equal to so what is given so when x 
x less than 35 it is given as 10 percent so let's get started so when x is equal to 35 so what is the standard normal variate that is z is equal to that is x minus mu by sigma so x what is the x value here this is 35 mu we have to find out and this is sigma and see i am writing this as minus z1 say as it is towards the left side left side of the ordinate so this is a negative part and next when comes to x is equal to 90 see here when comes to x is equal to 90 z value is equal to x minus mu by sigma so if i substitute in this formula this will be mu 90 minus mu by sigma this is positive value as it is towards the right side of the curve so say it is z2 so this value is z2 now we got the two equations so what are those equations i'll show you first one it is 35 minus mu by sigma 35 minus mu by sigma is equal to z1 is the first answer and first equation and 90 minus mu by sigma is equal to this value is z2 so this is equation one and this is equation two and see from the figure from the figure see here i'll show you the figure from the figure see this is the figure i'll show you the probability of 0 less than z less than z2 see here the distance between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to this is uh, z is equal to z1 z is equal to 0 and z is equal to z2 the distance between these two is 0 0.45 from the figure that is 0 0.45 after subtracting from 0 0.5 we got 0 0.42 see here then what is the value of z2 so z2 value from the table see here from table so we have to use the table to find out the value of z2 so i'll show you the table here 0 0.45 is nearer to so what is 0 0.45 see here see this is 0 0.45 this is 0 0.4495 and this is 0 0.45 0, 0.5 this is again 0 0.4515 the difference between 0 0.45 to 0 0.4505 is 0 0.0005 this is the minimum value so i am concluding this one so we'll get this value according to 0 1.6 this is under see here i'll show you this is under 5 so under 5 that is 1.66 1.65 z2 value is 1.65 from the table it is clear and the next one here is from the figure see here see from the figure the probability of 0 less than z less than z1 so the distance between z to z1 is same and z1 to z is also same so from the figure the value of the value between z and z1 is 0 0.4 see then what will be the value of z1 from the table from the table z1 value is equal to i'll show you the table so z 0 0.40 so this is 0 0.40 see here this value is 1.3 under 0 so i have i can conclude that it is 1.3 so this value is from the table it is 1.3 clear from the table so after getting z1 and z2 values i'll substitute in equation 1 and 2 here z1 value and here z2 value see after substituting from 1 see 1 what is the one equation that is 35 minus mu see here 35 minus mu by sigma is equal to minus z1 as it is towards the left side to the ordinate this is minus 1.3 this is minus 1.3 and the next one is here 90 minus mu 90 minus mu by sigma is equal to z2 what is a z2 value this is 1.65 see here if i cross multiply that is 35 minus mu is equal to minus 1.3 into sigma this is 90 minus mu is equal to 1.65 into sigma so this is equation number three and this is equation number four on solving see here on solving 
3 and 4 equations. On solving 3 and 4 equations, we will be getting the value. So, first one thing is 35 minus mu is equal to minus 1.3 sigma. This is 90 minus mu is equal to this is 1.65 sigma. See here, if I want to cancel this one, if I want to cancel this one, so this is a subtraction plus this is minus and this is again minus. So now I can easily cancel this plus and minus. After cancelling this one, see I'll show you the value. This is 90 minus 35. That is minus 55 is equal to this is minus. If I add these two, this will be 2.95 into sigma. See here. So this is 1.3 plus 1.65. The value here is 2.95. If I cancel this uh, negative sign, so sigma value will be 55 by 2.95. And sigma is equal to, see here, I'll show you sigma is equal to 55 divided by 2.95. The value here is 18 point, see here, 18.644, 18.644. So, this is 18.644. And next, after getting the sigma value, now I'll substitute in equation number 3. What is equation number 3? So, sigma value is 18.644. Four, 4 and according to the equation 3 so we have 35 minus so this is 35 minus mu is equal to minus 1.3 into sigma so if I substitute the value of sigma here that is 35 minus mu is equal to minus 1.3 into 18.644 so I need this mu value see here mu is equal to 35 plus this is 1.3 into this is 18.644 so the mu value will be see here i'll show you that is 35 plus 1.3 into 18.644 the value here is 59 point so this is 59.2372 so this is how we have to solve this is the mu value and this is the sigma value so we got the sigma value mean value so this is sigma is equal to this is 18.644 and the mu value is equal to this is 59.2372 so this value is nothing but the mean and sorry this is mean. So, the mean value is equal to mu and this is the standard deviation. Standard deviation value is equal to 18.644. So, this is how we have to solve and this is also so simple if you follow these steps and the diagram is also very very important as you know that 10% uh, of the probability is below 35. So, below 35 it is below 35 it is 10% and above 90 it is 5%. Uh, so, the rest from the figure we can easily draw and uh, we can calculate and this is how we have to fo follow the Z values and this is Z1. Z1 as it is below 35 and positive Z2 as it is above 90. So, after getting these two equations from the table, we got Z2 value as 1.65 and Z1 is 1.3. And after substituting in both the equations and solving, we got the value of um, sigma. Sigma, the standard deviation is 18.66 and the mu value, the mean value is 59.2372. Thank you so much for watching.